H is negative log 10 of H plus and pKa is negative log 10 of Ka. So why is this pKa value important? The pKa value is important because using the pKa values of different acids, of different weak acids, we can compare their acid strength. So we can compare the uh, pKa values because the pKa values represent the relative strengths of acids, so of weak acids. So the lower the pKa, the more acidic. Similar with pH, the lower the pH, the more acidic the substance and the lower the pKa, the more acidic the substance. So pKa is basically used to calculate, to, to basically compare the relative strengths of weak acids and this is how we can calculate pKa. So let's do some exercise. We have uh, some exercise on pH and pKa and Ka because we have done that. So let's practice some questions. The Ka values for three carboxylic acids are listed in the table below. So the acids are ethanoic acid which is which has a Ka of 1.8 into 10 to the power of minus 5. We have chloroethanoic, uh, one chloroethanoic, two chloroethanoic acid, sorry, two chloroethanoic acid which has a Ka of 1.4 into 10 to the power of minus 3 and we have 2,2-dichloroethanoic acid which has a pK which has a Ka of 5.5 into 10 to the power of minus 2 mole per dm cube. So as you can see as the number of chlorine atoms is increasing the Ka value is increasing which means the dissociation constant is larger which means that the, the as the number of chlorine atoms increase the acids become more acidic and I've explained the reason for this in the playlist of carboxylic acids and their derivatives so you can go to that playlist on my channel and you can figure out uh, how the uh, what the explanation uh, behind why as the number of chlorine atoms increases the Ka values increase why the, why the acid becomes more acidic as the number of chlorine atoms increase so uh, this says uh, calculate the pH of a 0.1 mole per dm cube solution of 2 chloroethanoic acid which is the second one. So we have to calculate the pH. So first of all what we will do is we will write the formula for the acid dissociation constant. Ka is equal to H plus times the C, uh, Cl, CH2, CO2 negative ion over the concentration of Cl, CH2, CO2H. So that is our acid and those were the ions on the, in the numerator we had the ions that dissociated from it. So for a moment let's just Let's just write the formula for the dissociation of 2 chloroethanoic acid. So we have 2 chloroethanoic acid uh, in a reversible reaction giving me H plus plus CH2, sorry, not CH2, it will be Cl. Uh, I made a mistake. There should be no concentration signs here. It's a balanced equation. We don't have to give concentration here. Cl, CH2, CO2 negative. Okay. So this is what we've got. Both are in aqueous state. Fa aqueous phase, not state. Aqueous phase. Um, yeah. So now if X moles of the acid di uh, dissociates then we have x, mo x moles of this and we have x moles of this. So the concentration of both H plus ions and uh, th uh, this, this anion which is 2 chloroethanoate ion, the 2 chloroethanoate ion, so the concentrations are the same which is x. So I can say that Ka is equal to H plus square because the concentration of H plus is the same as the concentration of the 2 chloroethanoate ion over the concentration of Cl, CH2, CO2H which is the acid, 2 chloroethanoic acid. So this is my formula for Ka 
Now using this, I have Ka, I have the concentration of the acid given over here. So I can calculate H plus squared 